Good very early morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to Wellington. There's a couple cool overlooks that oversees the city. I've always wanted to go at sunrise. So it is 4.30 a.m. I got a two hour drive. I've given myself about an hour to scope out the area. So hopefully I'll be there by 6.30 and 7 a.m. 7.30 and 7.30 sun will come up and maybe even before that we'll have some of the first light with the city kind of lit in the background and yeah let's just head on to Wellington it's gonna be a fun day So I have the camera set up just over here, kind of looking into the city and leading you out into the sea. And there's a bit of a tree line just in the front of me. And, and right now I have the 70 to 300 lens on there and I can't get past the trees. If I zoom in, it just seems too tight. Pretty much I have to set it at 70 millimeters so I can get at least a little bit of foreground, the city, plus the background. So the sun is actually set to rise more this direction. Um, right now you see, you might see a little bit of pink hue in the background just back here. That's because there's a lot of clouds over on this side. And I think what's happening is just, it's not breaking through here. So since there's no clouds down there, the light's just kind of wrapping around it. But I kind of expected this because I looked it up and I knew that the sunrise wasn't coming up from this corner. That's more to the southeast. So what I'm hoping is that once the sun gets a bit higher, maybe it can break through clouds and give me some light over the city. Uh, and that could be pretty cool to see. Um, another thing is there's a lot of low-lying clouds that are just moving in this direction uh, towards the southeast and that and, and what I'm going to do is probably put just a 10 stop ND filter on there and see if I can capture some of the clouds towards the city and that'll give me a cool image of at least some movement in the sky. I don't know how many compositions I can do here. I might have a walk around here. There is a bit of a trail. There's a lot of trails that go through here um, and as the sun is rising, I will see if I can point the direction, if I can point the camera in a different direction. There is an island just out there in the bay. Um, so yeah, uh, it's just a waiting game at the moment and uh, just have to see what the light's gonna do. So I've moved up a little bit onto this hill and I can see that the light's not really doing too much over the city at the moment. So what I'm trying to pick out is getting the lens zoomed straight in and what I'm trying to do is pick out shapes in the background with the hills and the sky and the layering of the clouds and going more of and just trying to see if I can find an image in there. Sometimes you don't need to always do like a wide angle. It's always good to zoom in if you can and see if you can pick out something in the sky or in the hill or on a mountain, whatever situation you happen, happen to be at. So that's what I'm doing right now and I'll keep going around here and see if I can find anything else. So another thing to look out for if you're doing long range telephoto photography is that because the barrel is, is so long and I also unfortunately have the tripod at its highest point because this is a travel tripod so it's not very high. I also have it anchored sort of with the backpack. But what you have to look out for is there's going to be a lot of shaking, a lot of vibration. So you always want to at least once you have it set up 
wait about 10 seconds or put about a 10 second timer on your camera if you can. Just let the tripod settle before you take the shot. Even with that, you may encounter some wind and that can also give you a fuzzy image. So right now I'm kind of in this sheltered area and it's not really too windy right here, but once in a while I'll have a breeze come through. And if I look through my viewfinder, I'll see that it just kind of shaking in the background. And I've had experience in the past where I thought I had the shot, I look on my computer and it's blurry. So that is definitely something to look out for if you're ever shooting far distances with your lens. So the sun's not really giving me anything to work with. So I guess this video is gonna be pretty much focused on zooming in and trying to find compositions that are out in the distance. If you look just real closely, just right around here, there's a nice ferry and behind that is an island there. And I got the trees right here kind of giving me a frame and I'm kind of zoomed in straight into the ferry and the island in the background so i'll do this shot here and we'll just keep looking around as well i may go to another viewing platform hopefully the clouds will break away and we'll get some sunlight it is trying to break through in the background but i can tell looking at the sky that the sun is up already and we have any color that was going to show has already gone so right now all we're doing is just focusing in and trying to get interesting photos since we can't work with the light. So just wanted to show you what I'm pretty much looking at. It's a beautiful bank of clouds here. We got low-lying clouds that are moving in this direction. Then we have another layer of clouds just hanging over the ranges. And then you got the ferry just there and the island there. And I'm pretty much in this area focused in. And it keeps changing every two minutes. This will look definitely look different. This changes over here. And I don't even have any filters on at the moment. I'm just letting the clouds do its thing and so that I can get some shapes because if I were to put a filter on it, then all I get is just flatness. And at the moment, I want these shapes more than it just being flat. So the light's been really moody. I've been having layers of clouds and the sun breaking through and it's creating these light patterns on the water. And I'm also zooming in into the ranges in the background using the islands and the fjords to create a nice balance with the light and the, and the layers of clouds and land. So that'll do it for me up here now. The light's getting a little bit muted and just flat. I did like though what I got this morning of the layerings of the clouds and the sun breaking through. So I really lucked out there. I've always wanted to come up here to see the city as the sun was coming up. So it's always been something I wanted to do and I'm glad that I've been able to do it. I'm glad that I focused in more and got different shots than just a landscape shot of the whole area. Sometimes you can get some really interesting photos if you just focus in on something but in saying all that thank you guys for watching subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button and until next time remember to keep exploring